Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me here on this video today. So today I'm gonna to be placing a live trade in IYR. Now we're gonna be looking at placing an iron butterfly slash iron condor trade in IYR. But before we get into that, I'd like to welcome back all of our subscribers and a very warm welcome if this is your first time here. My name is Kirk with Tactical Options Trading and we make videos just like this on a consistent basis where we talk about the stock market and options trading. If you'd like to learn more, consider subscribing and clicking that bell so that you don't miss out on any future content. All right, guys, we're looking at IYR. Now, IYR is the real estate ETF, and you can see that right now we are trading at about $77.99, so right around that $78 mark. And you can see that over the last little while, IYR has been in an uptrend, and we're having a little bit of a pullback right now. Now looking at our indicators, you can see that we have some uh, oversold conditions uh, showing up on our RSI. You can see on our CCI, we're showing a little bit of a uh, turnaround to the upside. The momentum has been to the downside, but is looking a little bit overextended, and so possibly looking at a little bit of a reversal in this downtrend here. So let's go ahead and look at the trade tab and set up an iron butterfly. now. If you're familiar with an iron condor, an iron butterfly is the same thing as an iron condor, but they share the same strike price for that sold strike uh, position, for that middle strike position. So we'll come in here to our trade tab, and you can see that we're looking at this November 2018 series of options here. Now in showing you guys this, I'm not recommending that you trade IYR, I'm just using this to show you as an example. Now I'm actually gonna be placing a live trade here, but I wanted to show this to you for educational purposes only. So again, looking at the 2018 series in IYR, and we're gonna come in here and sell that $79 strike because I'm thinking that this is gonna be a little bit of a bullish uh, reversal. Uh, and so I wanna set that strike price up, that sold strike, right around that $79 mark. Now you can see we're again, we're trading at 78. So this is gonna be a little bit of a bullish tilt to this trade. So we're gonna come in here at that 79 and we'll click that $79 strike on the put side and we'll click the $79 strike on the, on the call side. Now, if you guys didn't know this in Thinkorswim, if you hold down that control key, it will allow you to click both of those uh, positions at the same time. Now you can see if we were just to do this only and we were just to sell the $79 strike, that this would basically be a short straddle or a naked straddle position. But because we're gonna buy some protection on either side, that's gonna turn this uh, short straddle into an iron butterfly. So we'll come out about $5 wide on the strike prices. So let's come in here on the put side and we'll come in around that 70, uh, $74 strike and we'll go ahead and hold down that control key again We'll click the ask price, and that's gonna populate that down in here into our trade window. And then we'll come here on the call side, and we'll do the same thing right around that $84 strike. So we'll come in here at 84, and we'll buy the 84 for protection. Now you can see that this right now is uh, selling, this iron butterfly is selling for $2.45. So when we sell this iron condor, or this iron butterfly, we're gonna receive a credit of $245 into our account with one contract. So what I like to do though, before I actually go ahead and click the confirm send, is analyze this trade. So if I come in here and we click this analyze tab, so if you right click on your order and hit the analyze trade, it'll come in here and populate that into your analyze tab. Now you can see this is the typical shape of the iron condor. We have the uh, sold strike right here in the middle at that $79 strike and will make maximum profit if this stock or this ETF trades right around that $79 strike at expiration. So what I like to do is come in here and click the uh, set strike prices to break even on November 17th because that is when this these options expire. And you can see by doing that, it allowed it uh, put these strike prices in here at our break even point. So you can see right here at a glance, that our, that our break even point on the put side is gonna be $76.54, and on the call side, it's gonna be $81.45. Now the cool thing is that we can also come back in here and, and click set prices 
to the chart. So we can hit slices to chart and it's gonna put those on our chart there. Now the cool thing is we can see exactly where that stock needs to be or this ETF needs to be at expiration in order for us to just break even. Now again, remember we're selling that November strike price which is right out here at, at this uh, strike price. And here's our break even points, these two blue lines. <clears throat> Now, what we need this stock to do is just trade in between these strike price or between these uh, break even points and be somewhere in between these break even points by expiration here in November. So, even if this stock were to trade outside of these break even points, let's say it actually traded up a little bit higher and then came back in, uh, we could actually capture all that premium that we sold this position for we could capture that at expiration just as long as it's somewhere within those break-even points at expiration now if it was right there at that 79 dollars strike at expiration we'd capture all of that premium but what what we like to do here at tactical options trading on these iron butterflies is to capture 25 percent of that max profit so once we initially in, initialize this trade and this trade gets accepted and uh, this trade gets taken in, and then we'll go ahead right afterwards and set up a buy order to buy this back at 25% profit. So let's go back in here. And uh, once we've evaluated all this, we can see where this stock needs to be or this ETF needs to be before expiration. We'll come back in here to our trade tab and you can see that it's uh, still trading for $2.44 or $244. Now, if I hit the confirm send, you can see that it's going to give us what our max profit is and our max loss. So on this case, in this case, our max profit would be $2.44 or 245 or $244 uh, dollars in this case. And our max loss in this case would be $256. So it's almost a 50-50. Now, uh, what we're going to do is go ahead and click this confirm send. And before we do that, I always like to read the order and make sure that everything looks correct so we're going to sell an iron condor we know it's an iron butterfly because they sell they share those same sold strike prices so we're going to sell an iron condor in iyr for the 16th of november series this is the 7984 7974 call put at two dollars and 44 cents uh, limit to open so if everything looks good there which it does we're going to go ahead and click that send button and we're going to send this order off for the November 2018 series. So we're going to go ahead and click send. And boom, it just took that order just like that. So we are in this trade. We just got accepted into this trade. And you can see that our strike prices here are at that $79 strike. And again, we're looking for this to trade upward. All right, so what we're going to do now is come back in and set up a buy order to take us out of this trade once our trade has hit 25% of its profit target so let's come back in you can see that here's our here's our setup we were just looking at we can see our order is here so one thing you can do is right here on the trade tab you can see that our instrument that we're looking at iyr it puts the position right down here below so if i just right click on this right down here at the bottom you can see that it says create closing order now if i come in and hit create closing order i can come right up here to the top uh top option buy one iron condor and this will be to close so I can click on that and it pulls up my order here now we're gonna try to get out of this trade or set this trade up to get out of 25% of max profit so 25% uh, of two dollars and 44 cents which is what we were in initially into this trade for you can see right here trade price of two dollars and 44 cents that comes out to a dollar 83 so what I want to what I'm gonna do here is come in here and type in 183 and this is going to be a limit order uh, and this, we're going to make this good till cancel. And so this is to buy back our position that we just sold once it hits $1.83. Because you remember when we're selling an iron condor, we want that price to go down so that we can buy that back at a lower price. So we come in and now we hit confirm send and we're going to read this to make sure that we're doing the right thing. So we can see uh, buy one iron condor in IYR. Uh, the 16th of November 2018, the 7984, 7974 call put at a dollar 83, and this is going to be to close. Now, when I click send, it's going to go ahead and put that in there. Now you can see that we have, uh, you can see our standing orders here. So we have our sold 
79 strike and now we have an order to buy those strike prices back once we hit our profit target and then up here on the positions that we bought to get us out of this trade it's going to sell those positions so you can see that those are just standing orders there waiting for that profit target to be hit and then thinkorswim platform will do all the work for us and we can just sit back and wait for this profit target to be hit and let and let our strategy just work out and play itself out so i hope you found this video helpful thank you so much again for joining us here on this video uh, we'd love it if you'd share this video with anybody that you think would benefit from seeing this video again appreciate you guys watching our videos give it a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing if you're interested in learning more about options trading again my name is kirk with tactical options trading and we would love to have you on board thank you so much for joining us guys we'll catch you next time have a good one bye bye